Hi, I'm Tina from Poland. Please like and subscribe. I was born into a super rich home. My dad owned the largest store in the country, and my two brothers were billionaires as well. My long brown hair and my blue eyes caught the attention of everyone whenever I went out with my dad. Wow, your daughter is so beautiful. People would shower me with all sorts of gifts. I loved it a lot. I mean, who wouldn't? I would always want to go out with dad, but he wouldn't let me, and he had his reasons. I was the only girl in the family. My mom left when I was a baby. When she left, dad said I became really sick. I was taken to the best hospital in the country. They did all they could, but I I didn't get any better. I spent a year in the hospital and eventually I got better. I'm so glad you're fine now, sweetheart. Since then, my dad and brothers walked on eggshells around me and they spoiled me silly. They bought me the most expensive gifts. My dad even got me the most expensive necklace in the world. I love them, but sometimes they do too much. The only person who treated me like a normal kid was Jerry, our next door neighbor. Jerry and I were inseparable growing up and we had the best time together. When people made fun of my long brown hair, Jerry always defended me. We would play silly pranks on my brothers and laugh as the pranks played out. That all changed when Jerry's parents decided to move to another country. Jerry's mom got a sweet fashion deal in Paris and they had to move. I was devastated. I wanted to sneak Jerry into my room so that we could start living together, but my brothers found out. Jerry left and I was all alone. It took me a while to make friends in high school. Even though I was the prettiest girl in school, I had gotten so used to Jerry that I couldn't just blow with any other person. One day, I was on YouTube watching MSA videos when I stumbled upon a channel. It was Jerry's. He'd gotten so big and handsome. He was a popular chef in Paris with over 10 million subscribers. I stayed up all night watching his videos. I wanted to drop a comment, but I didn't know what to type. I was scared that he wouldn't remember me anymore. Meanwhile, I'd gotten into a nationwide beauty pageant and I was one of the favorites to win. That was all my dad talked about. You need to win the pageant, sweetie. Whatever it takes. I would always feel the pressure choking me when I went to school. Diane, the only person I was able to bond with at school, noticed and tried to take the pressure off. Let's go to your favorite restaurant. I'm sure you'll feel better after. We went to the restaurant and she got me my favorite meal. I smiled as the waiter placed the food on the table and just as I munched on the delicious meal, the cutest guy walked in. Every lady in the restaurant stared and was in awe as he sat by the window. He looked at me and with a gorgeous smile, he winked. My face turned red and my heart raced as he winked. I quickly looked away and focused on my meal. Just as we were about to leave the restaurant, I slipped and I was sure that I would fall, but the cute guy caught me. You should watch where you're going. I should be the one falling, not you. Hi, would you fall? I would fall for you, of course. I giggled in excitement as my face turned red. I looked at Diane, who was already dancing in the corner. I'm Brian. How have I not seen such a beautiful creature like you around here before? You didn't look closely enough. <sighs> I'll see you around. I grabbed Diane and we rushed out of the restaurant. Since then, I met Brian every time I went to the restaurant. He would come over to me and we would start talking. Turns out he was pretty funny and smart. I became so fond of him and we spent even more time together. He took me on a date one night and when we returned, he walked me to the front door and planted a kiss on my lips. I was so excited because I had wished that Brian would be my first kiss. I began to really like him and it turns out I wasn't the only one. My brothers and even my dad loved him. He is the son of the wealthiest man in the country. We need the connection, honey. He helped me with my preparation for the beauty pageant and with time we became a power couple in school apparently joy the biggest bully in school was also a contestant in the beauty pageant and was obsessing over brian i wonder what he sees in you things he doesn't see in you apparently she did everything in her power to stop me from dating him but she failed miserably her face would turn red when she saw us together after her failed attempt it was so hilarious i got to school one day and i got the biggest shock of my life jerry my runaway neighbor was sitting right next to my seat in class jerry what are you doing here i ran to meet him and met me halfway he lifted me up and hugged me tight. Wow, he even looked way cuter than in the videos. Brian saw us and he quickly moved hold my hand. Who is he? Oh, this is Jerry. We were close friends when we were much younger, but he's a huge star now. Huge star. How come I've never heard of him? Don't mind Tina here. I'm just a chef. But are you doing here though? Oh, I have moved back here. My mom wants to spend more time here and I miss this place as well. I was so excited that I hugged him again. Brian pulled me back and placed his arm on my shoulder. It's good to see you. Jerry, I waved at Jerry as I walked out of the glass with Brian. The wonderful memories I shared with him growing up rushed back to me as he smiled at me. He came to my place after school and we spoke for a long time. He told me all about Paris, how he learned to cook, and how he became a teenage sensation overnight. My mom helped me with everything and that's why I love her so much. I'm really happy for you, Brian, and I'm glad you're back. Just as Jerry was about to leave, Brian walked in. Oh, Jerry's here. I was on my way already. Let me leave you two alone. Good night. Jerry sounded so cool and mature. He was dressed well too. Brian and I spent time together, but all I could think about was Jerry. I started spending more and more time with Jerry and I began to realize just how funny and smart he was. Whenever his brown eyes stared at me, my heart would melt and I could feel the butterflies in my stomach dancing. I was falling for him and honestly, I loved it. Brian, on the other hand, had been buying me nice gifts since Jerry came back. He even got me a very expensive car, which I really loved. One time, I was walking with Diane and all of a sudden, I tripped and as I was about to fall, Jerry, out of nowhere, caught me. He held me in his arms for a while and I just stared into his gorgeous eyes. He reached out to kiss me, but Brian walked up to us that moment. What's going on here? I pushed Jerry aside and ran
ran away. I was so confused. I didn't know what to do. The day of the beauty pageant grew closer and I began to panic. Don't be a baby. We've practiced and I've helped you a lot. I'm sure you'll be fine. He sounded so much like a jerk, but he was right. We had practiced so much and I could feel the confidence building inside of me. That all crumbled when Joy, the witch, accused me of stealing. She would never do that. Yes, she did and I have the proof. She stole my expensive necklace and hid it in her locker. I saw her when she did it. You're such a liar. Why would I steal your cheap necklace? Why don't we find out if I'm a liar or not then? Open your locker. To my biggest surprise, the necklace was placed on one of the books in my locker. How did it get there? My jaw dropped as the principal picked up the necklace. Everyone looked at me weird, including Brian. My dad and brothers were certain that when I was called into the principal's office that I couldn't steal, they had bought even more expensive necklaces for me. So why would I steal one? You are hereby disqualified from the beauty pageant and you must serve detention for a week. I ran out of the principal's office crying. I couldn't believe it. Everyone would think I'm a thief and they wouldn't believe me anymore. Jerry walked out of the shadows and he came over to me. Hey, heard what happened? Are you okay? Leave me alone, Jerry. I know you think I'm a thief as well. I could never think of you like that and I know very well you are not a thief. I'm glad you believe me because no one else in the school does, including Brian. I don't know what to do. I started crying and that was when Jerry moved closer to me and hugged me tightly. Just ignore them. We'll figure something out. Trust me. My first day in detention sucked. People looked at me differently, including the teachers. Jerry then came and made everything easier. We spent time together in detention and we got even closer. He stayed with me all the way through and he also walked me home just to make sure I was safe. The beauty pageant was days away and the entire country was buzzing because of it. Joy was the clear candidate to win, but there were talks about Michaela winning as well. She was my favorite. She was so pretty and kind. She had the cutest blue eyes I have ever seen. Jerry made sure I continued with my practice. Even though I didn't want to, you can still be called back in for the pageant, so you need to be ready. On my way back from detention one day, I felt really sick. My knees became weak and I was dizzy. I fell to the ground and was rushed to the hospital. When my dad got to the hospital, he demanded that I be transferred to the same hospital I was admitted to and I was much younger. I was in a coma for two weeks. Everyone was worried sick. Brian, who had disappeared since Joy accused me of stealing, came back and stayed by my side. Jerry was there too, and they both argued from time to time about who deserved me more. How could you abandon her when she needed you the most? You don't deserve her, and who are you to decide that? She's my girlfriend, and there is nothing you can do about that. The doctors ran some tests, and they found out I had a rare kidney disease, and I needed a kidney transplant. My dad couldn't be the donor because he had the same disease. My brothers were on a very important business trip, and they weren't even told that I was in the hospital. Diane gave excuses, and Brian ran away. Again, time was running out, and I needed a donor quickly. I'll be the donor. Jerry stepped up, and he donated one of his kidneys. The surgery was successful, and weeks later, I was discharged from a hospital. I got back home and continued the preparation for the beauty pageant with Jerry. Some days before the pageant, the school found out that Joy planted the necklace in my locker just to get me kicked out of the pageant. She confessed after she was caught trying to pull the same trick on Michaela. She was suspended, and I was called back in for the pageant, just like Jerry had predicted. I became so nervous when I got the news. Sweat poured out of me, and I felt a tightness in my chest. Jerry noticed and held my hand gently. You'll be fine, Tina. This is what you trained for, and I am so proud of you. He smiled at me and I hugged him tightly. What would I do without you? The day came and I was well prepared for it. I wore my finest gown. Dad had just gotten it for me and it looked absolutely gorgeous. My brothers hired the best stylist in the country and she did a wonderful job. They all sat in the front row and they applauded when I stepped on stage. I nailed the many questions I was asked and felt like confidence building as the show went on. After what seems like an eternity, it was time to decide the winner. We all held hands and hoped for the best. Michaela got second place with a standing ovation and my name was announced as the winner of the pageant. I was so happy. His tears rolled down my cheeks, but out of nowhere, Brian came on stage and held my hand. I yanked his hand off and walked down to where Jerry stood. Brian ran to meet me and he grabbed me violently. Jerry intervened and punched him right in the face. Leave her alone. You don't deserve her. Brian ran off crying like a baby while Jerry held my hand gently and smiled at me. My heart melted and my face turned red. You look really beautiful. Just kiss me already. He leaned in and gave me the warmest kiss ever. I held on to him as everyone cheered us on. It was the best night ever. Thank you.